before we proceed you need to save the file of course so you won't get everything lost if the electricity went out so I saved it to waterpump.max now I need to create the inner part as you can see here from this picture let's take this as you can see we have another cylinder inside and this, this cylinder is being extruded up not much just to get along with this and here we got this piece down so the best uh, geometry to use in this case is cylinder let's press F from the keyboard and now I go to geometry standard primitive and I will pick a cylinder of course I will activate snap toggle and that will be my cylinder okay now I don't need it to touch this guy right here as you see it it actually overlaps with it so I need to deactivate snap toggle and reduce the radius something like 20 no that's too much let's make it 21 and let's change the height to 60 until we can scale it height segment I will keep it to 5 because I will do some modeling with it cap segment let's leave it to 1 and I will change the side to 24 maybe 32 now I can raise the radius to 23 or 22 21.5 21.5 okay now let's raise the sides to 40 actually I don't want to use uh, turbo smooth with this piece so I can go up as I can I will make the sides 200 okay and of course as you can see here it uh, needs to change the height to something like 35 and let's push this let's go to left view and let's select both pieces and activate snap toggle put them here in the middle now this cylinder needs to go slightly to the right and I can change its height to something like um, 36 now if we go press F3 so you can see I don't need them to touch each other like this but here in the front view that looks uh, non touching to me there is a gap not not much let's check the perspective view yeah that's what I need press F3 so you can see the edges and F4 okay now let's hide this guy so I can start working or maybe I can start working on off and F3 uh, to see through everything now select the cylinder right click convert to editable poly now go to edge mode select this loop this loop too and let's scale them so they can scale them on the y axis let's change to left view change it to screen okay let's change our selection to vertices 
by pressing control and using or pressing the vertices that's what I need I need to take those guys something to the outer side like this and same for these two edges double click press control and now control again and change selection to vertices and also I need to scale them out like this now as you can see the editable poly piece need to go slightly to the left okay and it to be scaled up as overall on the x-axis now, now let's get it back or maybe we can align it so let's check align with this one and that's it center point I need first to change the pivot point so I go to affect pivot only and make sure to snap put it here in the middle now let's select this piece align it to this guy center center and press ok ok now let's get back to modify and what I need to do I need to scale this out a bit or maybe take them inside just to the edge okay I deactivate this snap toggle so now I have these two lines from both sides just like here these two lines and there are two lines here now I need to change to polygon mode select this loop select one and then uh, let's change the view to perspective view that would be better and now let's press shift again control to select this one and shift to select the whole loop I need to extrude this in and do the opposite thing with these external pieces but not much so let's uh, first insert it and that these uh, polygons I use the insert tool and let's set the value to 0.1 that's a tiny value so I won't see it when we work now let's make an extrusion and change from group to local normal set the value to something like 2.5 now that's that's too much let's make it 1.2 I press F 3 let's uh, let's see what we have here press OK now let's press F3 to see what we got I think it's aligned okay now for this outer part if you remember from this image let's sh see it again this is the, the extruded piece and this piece goes inside but still I have this piece here so I change my view to front view press F now what I need to do I need to select the outer ring and uh, of the only of this side the uh, front side so what we can do we can just select this ring press shift and now let's press F and deselect most of the other the upper part so we only extrude this piece right here add the final fin after the final fin with one step so this is the final fin so starting from here I 
I will press Alt. I need to be accurate and make this deselection. So that's what's left for me. I need to make sure it's the same in both sides. Okay. Now I'll, I will do the same as I did with this, the other extrusion. I need to make an insert first and I will make the value something like 0.3 press ok now let's make a bigger extrusion remember this piece here is bigger than that one so maybe 10 for extrude or maybe 4 let's check 4 and that's too much let's make it 2.5 we keep adjusting until we get the value we need. Two point five. Press OK. Now I change the view to left view by pressing L. And what I need to do here, I need to change the mode to vertices and take all the string these two rings not just the first one and make it a bit wider so when we get back to perspective view we make this piece a bit rectangular or cubic lock okay Let's check with the image. So this is for this base. And next we will model this base right here. But let's first make uh, some chamfer edges for this piece. So I press Ctrl and change to edge mode. But unfortunately that selects all the edges. So I double click this edge. Actually, this edge won't want to be visible, so I need to select this and press loop, press control, this one too, and loop. And I need to do the same with this one. I don't know if loop will work. Fine, it works. Same for this one loop this guy loop and take these additional edges so now we select the edges we need to chamfer from this side do the same here I need just these three edges Let's get to the back side. We need only this loop and that other loop. And as I told you, I won't use Hyper uh, Turbo Smooth. Sorry, I'm used to 3ds Max. Uh, I won't use it's, it's called Hyper in, 3D, in uh, Cinema 4D. Sorry, not 3ds Max. In Cinema 4D, uh, Turbo Smooth is called Hyper Nerve. But here it's turbo smooth, so I won't use it for this piece. I just will chamfer the edges with the least amount of 0.1, maybe 0.2, and let's make it two steps. Let's get closer to see what we have here. make it 0.1 or 0.15 that's a middle value and press ok so that's it for this piece and let's continue with the next tutorial